Hey what's up guys in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install your iOSD mini and your 5.8 gigahertz 600 milliwatt AV transmitter onto your DJI Phantom 2. Now there's different variations you could do to this different transmitters that you could use. These are the parts that I'm using and this is the build I'm doing for my DJI Phantom 2. All the parts in this video will be down in the description so you can just go and click on those. So the first things that we'll need, we'll need the actual transmitter itself and like I said this is the Immersion RC, this is 600 milliwatts. And then we have the IOSD Mini. And now we have a plug and play cable and this plug and play cable makes things really easy. You don't need to solder, you don't need to tape. It's very clean and it's got all the connections right on this one cord. The tools you'll need for this project is a Phillips screwdriver, the Allen wrench that came with your Phantom 2, 3M scotch tape, a container for your screws, and scissors or snips to cut the zip ties. Now to get started with the install, you'll first want to remove the propellers off the quadcopter and also take out the battery. You'll want to remove the canvas located on the leg of the quadcopter and there's four screws that hold this on and also some tape. You'll just want to unscrew the four screws and disconnect this. Now there are 16 screws in order to get the lid of the quadcopter off. Four of them are located on each arm of the quadcopter. There are three Allen wrench screws and then there are one Phillip screw at the tip of the arm. Now once we have all 16 screws removed, we can lift the top and when we lift the top, there'll be the GPS connected and that will just disconnect. It slides right out. It's nice and easy and we'll just set that aside. Once you have the lid off, we'll want to go ahead and pull that canvas we disconnected back into the body of the quadcopter and reconnect it. You may need to use a pair of snips or scissors to trim any zip ties that are kind of restraining that cable. Now we'll want to take the IOSD Mini and plug that into the canvas. On the back left of the quadcopter you'll see a cable that runs down along one of the legs and you'll see a yellow, light brown, red, and brown cables there and actually what we'll need to do is feed this back up into the body just like we did the canvas and this time we'll trace it down, we'll need to snip any zip ties along the way and disconnect this cable because we're not going to need this cable, we're going to use the all-in-one cable to replace this. So once we have that disconnected, we'll go ahead and run the all-in-one cable up through the same hole that you just removed that colored cable from and we'll plug that same plug that's on that all-in-one cord back into that connected port there. Now we'll need to take the other lead off the all-in-one cable and plug that into the IOSD Mini. Now we'll need to install the AV transmitter on the bottom of the quadcopter. Now when you're installing this, I do like to use double-sided sticky tape and you will need to make sure you have room to put the battery in and take the battery out. So you don't want to mount this in the middle, you'll want to mount this off to the side. Now I have an interference board here that I actually had to remove just to move up so I could have more clearance. I didn't want the back of the transmitter to hang off the quadcopter so I had to remove that, move that up and then put the transmitter on. Now it's very very important to never start up your quadcopter without an antenna on your transmitter. If you do that it's just going to send too much power and you're going to ruin your transmitter. So always keep an antenna on your transmitter. Once you have the transmitter in place that's it. We're basically done. However, we do need to check for updates if there's any updates on the IOSD Mini and to do that we'll need to download the IOSD Mini Assistant from the DJI Phantom website. Now this is only a Windows application so this cannot be ran on Mac unfortunately so you will need a Windows machine to update your IOSD Mini. Now that we've made sure everything is up to date we can get everything tucked away and ready to get put back together. I'll need the double-sided tape again because I'll be putting the IOSD Mini 
towards the front there's a section here in the front of the quadcopter and both the iosd mini and the cables from the transmitter fit perfectly in there so i'll just take a piece of tape and slide them there into the front of the quadcopter and then with some zip ties i'll kind of get all these cables together and i'll zip tie them together just so they're neater and put together and now i'm ready to put the lid back on the quadcopter but do remember to plug in your gps otherwise your quadcopter won't work so now we'll go ahead and put the 16 screws back into the quadcopter and that's it we're done now we'll just need to go ahead and turn on the quadcopter and you can see we have the fpv working and the iosd mini is working and that's that thanks for watching